Good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Natasha Khan. I'm currently enrolled at CUNY in the CPAC course. I don't know if everybody's familiar with that, but it's the Child Program Administer Credential. Um, before I say anything else, I want to say thank you to Patty Lieberman, who's given me the opportunity to be able to continue my studies in the CPAC. Um, I chose CUNY a while ago, but before I let you know why I chose that, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a wife, I'm a full-time worker, and I'm the mother to two young boys, Kaden and Caleb. I began my journey as an early childhood educator in 2003. Since entering the field, I've learned the, import the importance of child education. Building a solid foundation for children gives them the opportunity to grow and develop to meet their full potential. Once I became a mother, I realized that now I had the re responsibility to help my boys to become educated. Uh, I hold the power every day to help other children, and I spent nine years doing that. I never really understood the power that I had at that time, and I wasn't aware of it, of how important it was to shape these little minds. But like I said, once I became a mother, then I really appreciated it. In the field, I'm surprised every day at the power of learning. Watching children grow and develop makes you appreciate how much the world is changing and growing. We've come a long way in helping many children with disabilities and giving services to everyone, whether physical, emotional, or social. And I hope we continue this path. There's many times when teachers have had no support and no help in the field, but now I'm happy to say that there's so many publications out there, workshops and courses, that we can all aspire to find out how we can help children every day. Uh, that brings me back to the interest in furthering my own, my own education. I started in early childhood as a substitute, and I went up the ranks. I was a part-timer, full-timer lead head, and then I stepped into the administrative position. When I entered the administrative position is when I realized that I could help more than just the children and their families, that I could help my fellow colleagues, and they could explore their education, and they could become more educated every day as the field continues to grow. Uh, after becoming a mother, I ended up going back to school, and I did it online, and I got my master's in early childhood at Walden University. It was a hard time, it was a struggle, but I did it because I chose to do it, and I saw the importance in it. I believe through my enrollment at CUNY, I will be able to learn from other professionals. Having experienced teachers and classmates that face the similar issues on a daily basis at work gives me the opportunity to, to learn and grow. I'm lucky to be around such inspirational individuals that allow me to see the best in me while understanding what the workforce entails for early childhood. Being an educator is not a financial path. Instead, it's a path with inspiration and gratitude. Being able to shape the minds of children and help families support the needs of their own children is the best reward. Being a part of the CUNY community has given me the ability to believe in myself and also has allowed me to become a better leader. Each day is a new learning experience and I do not plan on wasting another day. I'm very appreciative of being awarded this scholarship as it will continue to help me on my journey as I complete the CPAC course and obtain my credential. I thank you all for allowing me to share my journey and I congrat my fellow scholarship awardees. I look forward to learning more about each of you as we continue our path to reaching our goals. I hope everyone enjoys the evening and thank you for your time and attention. But I have one quote that I would like to leave you with, which is one of my favorite quotes, and it's simply, to the world, you may be just a teacher, but to your students, you are a hero. Thank you.